Ali's one reporting from the last lone location where witnesses saw Brooklyn Hope along with two colleagues, Jillian and Sarah Santiago. These missing persons have been accused of spreading propaganda against the swine flu vaccination and stating publicly all prescription meds are part of a new eugenics program to kill off the lower class. I love him too much to let him go that easy. Maybe you're right. We should give up. What can we do? These three little rebellious birds. <laughs> we are also here to initiate our newest member. change. You guys are going to like this. A change that we can all believe in. So tonight, we sacrifice these three in order to honor our newest union. They will die for America. They will die for the Illuminati. Isn't the hero. <laughs> you will never win! Even if you kill me, my people will rise up! You're first. for you. It's your friend. I can't believe it. It's Claudio Ramos, <laughs> my repairman. <laughs>
No, I love him. This is Alice Wong reporting. Brooklyn Hope has been discovered alive. He was captured by a cult of politicians who tried to kill him for uncovering the true agenda of the American government, supposing all prescription meds are meant to sterilize and kill the populace. This group of politicians whose names have not been released were said to have killed two of Hope's colleagues, the Santiago sisters as well as his long-term friend and repairman Claudio Ramos. Hope would have died as well if not for the heroic actions of his wife, Mary Hope. All I can say is, I can't believe it. This is Alice Wong, signing out.